hands on my knee, call this big game, hop off a chick, tell it get risk, let's do no more, and I get a chick, she said I'm wrong on my pants and my cheeks, she never dress, he love my piss, I eat her flesh, you know the rest, kind of a hundred, and couple of legs, shine like the sun, you truly blessed, just don't be tame, and they come up like a hoop with each other, this is all we got my Gucci shirt with, and in my mind I'm gonna be used to the rest, with this group where they teach you for this, I heard this shit's with a drip I invest, I'm the boss man I keep catching the best, Shut it down, where they sold the checks on the streets, they know my foes, send on my feet, put it on toes, take it with me, double your dose, cover with angels, that's watching my soul. Check out a bed, this bigger window, and I feed it in ten, but I got the info. What is up A team? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you again with that top tier content. It's my graduation vlog. It's my graduation vlog. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Please don't play with it. Wig late, honey. 28 inches, darling. 28 inches, darling. We are not messing around. The wear. It just feels so surreal to even say that this is my graduation vlog because, as you guys know, I started my journey on this YouTube channel in 2020 and I didn't even intend to be a vlog channel, but very soon I morphed into a vlog channel and very soon after that I became a very student oriented, university esque vlogger. And you guys have joined me the past three years of my degree and now I can finally say that I'm done I conquered UCT not once not once but twice but twice and I'm just so so excited to walk the stage as Annelisa Zungu the Bachelor of Laws graduate okay period I'm a unjad flubs unjad I'm a I'm a 
<laughs> okay. My family arrived in Cape Town yesterday and since then I've been doing a bunch of things like my nails. Can never go wrong with the squared rubber base. Got my hair laid, my cake got delivered, got my verve, okay? Period. Don't play with it. Don't really don't play with it. And right now my family wants to go to a wine farm. So guess who has to drive to Stellenbosch? Guess which boo the fool has to drive to Stellenbosch, but I'm happy to drive them around because them is my people. Both my parents are here, my siblings are here, I have an older brother and sister for those of you that don't know. I am a lost born, period. I think you guys could tell though from my vlogs because I'd be just a little bit spoiled. Just, just, just a bit. <laughs> it's just the jokes. Hey, hey, man, man, it's just jokes. It's just joking. Oh man, Jay. But yeah, guys, I'm excited to really share this um, journey with you. The last step of me being a student and let's go guys. Let's motherfucking go and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let's get into it.
I realised my power when I was 16, soon to turn 17. I knew that I wanted to pursue law at the best university in Africa, and so I achieved so many accolades in my last two years of high school in what I thought would set me up to be accepted into the LLB programme at UCT. When I wasn't accepted for law, but instead accepted into the humanities faculty with an opportunity to enter the law stream after my first year, I was extremely disappointed. But now I can look back at my 17-year-old self and grin from ear to ear, genuinely, because my first three years at UCT in the humanities faculty, pursuing my degree in philosophy and English, taught me more about myself, my resilience, my focus, my competency, more than anything else ever could. I managed to make it onto the Dean's Merit List and was amongst the top achievers in my faculty for the entire three years that I was there. The connections I made, the friendships and memories, were what I didn't know I needed, which is a good example of God knowing what is better for you and granting you that, despite the hardships and the hurdles. My academic journey hasn't been the easiest one. I've been battling extreme anxiety and depression since I arrived at university, and all I can picture in this moment is how hard I've fought for my dreams and aspirations, crawling out of bed most times filled with dread, completing assignments with shaky hands and tears in my eyes. But I got the job done. I was accepted into the law program and gave it every single thing I had inside of me and made it out to the other side. During my law degree, I was awarded a scholarship each year and even received another just before I wrote my final exams. I can finally say that I'm a two times UCT graduate and I can finally say with the utmost conviction that I completed my law degree at the best institution in Africa, just as my younger self had imagined it. No other word comes to mind except gratitude. What's happening to me in the dark? Can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow, staring out the window, trying to start for a sign. It's the reason why. And O's in my notebook Checking how my hair and my nails look I feel myself in the zone And you're nervous when you're gone so I say I'm not home See your face and I hear my favorite song Should I send an email at home? You're the number one topic on the phone I wonder if you know Do you have a clue? Yeah, I lay my head on my pillow If you got me staring out the window We will show the stars outside What's the reason why? It is graduation day and I've made my dad mute his CNN while I make this intro. That's how serious this vlog is. So what's up guys? How you guys doing? We also just reached 24,000 subscribers so today's a good day and the devil is stopping nothing whatsoever. As you guys can see, uh, Lucheli did what she had to do with my makeup, okay? Okay, it's giving, it's giving, is it not? Time, I'm not a person who likes having my makeup done because naturally but like when people actually do my face I'm just I'm in awe I'm in shock I'm in disbelief at the flavor the flavor that is amazing wow like oh my god mm. the flavor yeah right now it's about quarter past 12 and I'm gonna head over to UCT with my parents now because even though the ceremony starts at 2 p.m. we need to be seated by at least like quarter past one-ish 
So I want to be on time and I want to get good parking because my mom has sore feet and she is not going to walk a long distance. Well, she will if she has to, but I don't want her to. And so, yo, we're about to pull off skirt. Left hand is steering, the right hand is gripping. The, whatever Bryson Tiller said in that song, that's what we're about to do. And I'm so, so excited. Later on, we have dinner reservations at Tang Waterfront. So I'm super, super excited for that. My bestie, my bestie, as you guys know, Oisa, is coming through as well. Looking forward to having a Looking forward to having a good time with my fam, with my friends, and let's go to grad. Let's go to grad. I'm gonna ask my dad to put on my gown now, and so you guys can see the flavor. Anyways, let's go. Senetemba Zungu. Please do my vlog intro. Hmm? Can I please do my intro? What intro? For my vlog. Two? For my vlog. What's next? My my okay, my video. So can you keep quiet for 30 seconds? Okay. <laughs> Baby, okay. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, we're back from dinner. We went to Tank, like I said, and it was so nice. My family ordered five bottles. By the end of it, people were falling into Ubers. My dad was busy cooking. For those of you that are Zulu, you know what that means. 
Limping. Yeah, you're lim yes, you're limping. My dad's in the background. So is my best Artificial friend. Artificial limping. Yeah, so is my brother. Everyone's here. Yeah, it's a good time. Everything was so good. It was not real limping. Okay, Dad. Thank you. It was because of this handsy limp. Yeah. Guys, I'm so weak. He Everyone had a little too much. He lived because of this thing. <laughs> Everyone Fine. had a little bit too much to drink, but <laughs> I'm a little baddie, a little big brain, a little bubble, a little you baby girl. Not and you so mean, everyone is lit. Because of this. And you guys are here to express it. So be honest. Be honest. Your daddy been talking the whole time. The minute. Don't say my oh. dad was limping as if I was injured somewhere. <laughs> he I never respect my name. I was limping because of my shoe, <laughs> my right shoe. Can I see your shoe, please? Hands I limp. Can you please show YouTube your shoe? Take me take it. Take it. Your sandals. <laughs> Show what them. are those? <laughs> Show them. Now when I say when you say my dad was sleeping, each was as if I like, what? It's like no, he was walking from Jerusalem. <laughs> each was as if I was. Okay, enough. Was okay, enough. Enough. I never got injured. <laughs> I never got injured. <laughs> I limped it Okay, can I have it silence for one second? It was the shoe. It caught me limping, otherwise I would not have been. Guys, my best friend, Jal, saw out my family and it's annoying me because yeah. they're annoying. I limped because Tomorrow, of I'm gonna but take... But I was Dad, Dad, I'm doing my intro. Silence. Because if he talks about my limping, don't talk about it. Okay, sing Lulil, sing Lulil. Yeah. I never limped. I'm Onika, right? I bought Onika. <laughs> it's a new name, Onika. What's Onika? Onika. Onika. Okay, to Onika. be fair, to be fair, what's his name? Um, Zuma. 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 I said my drug. Zuma, no, no, no. Eh? Why? Pitch black. Oh, hi. Mm -mm. That's your son. <laughs> Okay. My son. Okay. Okay. Dad, enough. Genuinely, stop. Okay, guys. Tomorrow my family's leaving, so I'm gonna take them to the airport at like half past ten in the morning. Even though their flight is only at like one, because they're gonna go to the slow lounge and leave me hungry here in Cape Town while they go eat a buffet. So it's an evil world we live in, genuinely, because I've hosted them so well this whole time. But it's my grad, and we're not gonna complain. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that little interlude. Um Can you have guns brought? Well bye bye. Bye bye. I'm officially back home. I just dropped off my family at the airport and I'm already sad. I miss them so, so much. What an amazing, amazing few days with my family, you guys. It was so fun. Yesterday, we were all so crunk off that wine at Tang. I, <laughs> the clip before this probably tells you all you need to know about how my graduation dinner went. And yes, I did sleep in my makeup from yesterday. Don't judge me, judge your mama, okay? No, my bad, I'm sorry. Because firstly, um, that makeup, uh, the makeup, is it installation? Paying for the makeup, the makeup itself was very expensive and wiping it off after three hours would have genuinely irked every single molecule inside my body. So I simply had to do what I had to do. I had to sleep like a corpse last night. I had to pull one of these and just have my skin handle 
all of this just for an extra few hours because yeah i got things to do today those things are drinking some nice champagne with the view probably some verve let's go have a nice time guys pella we're a little baddie a little big brain a little bar for a little um gym so it must show it must show i've officially entered my new element i didn't think i could get any hotter but like it turns out that I can actually get hotter and so right now um i'm just waiting for my fridge and to pick me up via uber because don't drink and drive we don't drink and drive in this house okay <laughs> i mean for real we don't do that and click and click i'm not I'm not laughing look look i'm not laughing we don't drink and drive in this house but yes guys the last few days have been so surreal like i can't believe i actually walked to the stage i won't lie to you guys when I walked the stage, I blacked out. Not in the sense that, like, oh, what's happening? I just... <sighs> I think it was so nerve-wracking that my brain just had to switch off. Like, I was like a robot. I did what I had to do. Probably looked good doing it, but I blacked out. I just want you guys to know that. And yeah, the photos that my photographer took, because I did hire a photographer for after the graduation. Yo, the photos he took, eight. They're, they're not out yet. The ones you see on Instagram, straight after the grad, if you do follow me on Instagram, are the ones that some random guy took. And he ate two. He ate two. So in Jay Zolo, everyone is eating in their own way. And to be honest, I can't wait till the photographer's photos, the one that I actually hired, because they look so good. They look so good. Yeah. But anyways, one thing about this makeup, guys, the girly eight. Look, Lily, probably not watching this right now because she just subscribed to my channel, but... If you're watching this girl, shout out to you. Also, I did meet an AT member on campus yesterday. I think your name was Nosipo. Was it Nosipo? Girl, if you're watching this, I love you. Thank you so much for coming up to me and saying hi because a lot of people, I think, are shy to come and say hi to me and it's like, Go say Mina. I'm very calm, cool, collected. Just come say hi and let's chat, okay? So thank you so much for saying hi to me and just congratulating me. That was so awesome. Meeting an AT member on campus. Because sometimes I forget you guys are real people. <laughs> sometimes I think you guys are like Sims. Sometimes I think you guys are like AI that are chilling in China somewhere. But then when you guys are like, oh, hey, Anisa, it's like, oh, hey, boo. Because it's like, you guys are real people. But anyways, um, some sort of position, like pretty girls do. And let's get into it. Period. Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing?
What's up guys, welcome to the last leg of my graduation vlog So today, or rather should I say tonight Because it's about half past five Okay, why am I lying? Why am I lying? <laughs> it's five o'clock uh, Tonight I'm going out with one of my friends He's actually an admitted attorney of the high court And so I feel like it's really symbolic to end off my graduation vlog Meeting up with my friend who's actually an attorney How cool is that? So we're probably going to have margaritas Chill in town a bit I'm a bit skeptical because to be honest it's really cold outside So Literally, if he wasn't forcing me to go outside, I wouldn't go outside. Like, the wind seems like it could blow me away. I feel sorry for everyone who's under 50 kgs outside, because I'm sure y'all are getting blown the fuck away, and so am I. So, it's not the most optimal day to be going out, but it's my graduation vlog, and the plans must go on, man. The plans must go on. So yesterday, as you guys saw, we're drinking burb in Camps Bay. Why did I say it like that? Let me stop. We're drinking burb in Camps Bay, and um Jada survived. It was amazing. I can't believe I'm actually alive today. Like I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. Over the last three, four days, I'm surprised that my body can actually drink so much. It's not even the fact that I've been drinking a lot. It's just that I've been drinking at least every day since then because my family was here, wine farm, dinner dates, obviously wine. And Jay, I've been I've been on one. Your girl has been on one. But after today, which is the last day of this vlog, I'm definitely gonna just sit down, drink water, and edit this vlog, okay? So don't worry about that, be hard. Anyways, let's get going, guys. And I'm looking forward to having an amazing night because, yes, yeah, the last day of the grad vlog, Nje. It must make sure. Also, did you guys see the photos that I posted on Instagram? Did you guys see that? Because what do I even mean in the flavor? Like, what do I mean? And it's real funny because the photographer I actually hired hasn't even released my photos yet. And so when he releases my official photographs, yo, ninga shorty guys, ninga shorty for real, because the hot palpitations. I'm actually gonna say less and just post more. Anyways, let's go guys. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta come to my side and see how we live. 